Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are in Paula, which is just south of Temecula. We are here for Bill's niece, Corinne's wedding. She's getting married today at a beautiful place called Whispering Oaks Terrace. So we're just getting here. Let's head in and see what's going on. It sounds like they're taking some pictures down there already. It's a beautiful water fountain. Fountain? It sure is. Corinne and all the girls are in there getting ready, waiting for your mom. Okay, here she is. I'm going to grab the earrings. Uh, we need the earrings that she has for the bride. Oh, this is She's only at, yeah, she finally got here. Good. <laughs> Sit right here. Mom, sit down right here. Right here. God demonstrated his love by giving us his son. Mark and Corinne will demonstrate this God-given love by giving themselves to one another. Who then gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. Experience 
and which is the very example of Christ's love for us. Mark, would you repeat this after me? I promise to live, promise to live. Together, as God instructed us, together as God instructed us in the holy establishment of marriage. In the holy establishment of marriage. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor and keep you. Honor and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In forsaking all others. In forsaking all others. I keep myself only for you. I keep myself only for you. So long as both you and I shall live. Do you, Mark, take her in to be your wedded wife? If so, say, I do. I do. Corinne. I promise to live together. I promise to live together. As God instructed us. As God instructed us. In the holy establishment of marriage. In the holy establishment of marriage. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor. And keep, you. and keep you in sickness and in health, in sickness and, in health. And, forsaking all and forsaking all others I keep myself only for you so long as both you and I shall live Corinne do you take Mark to be your wedded husband if so say I do, I do. Mark and Corinne what symbol of your love did you bring Go ahead and take her left hand. There you go. Put it up, place it on her ring finger. And Corinne, remember, a ring is more than a symbol of your marriage. It's a seal of the vow you have made to one another. The circle of this ring is as far as you and I can see, a perfect circle with no beginning or end. God, and so God too has a perfect love for you and wants you to love one another, and his grace is never, never ending. Grace. This ring is made of precious metal. You are also precious in God's sight and now in the life of Mark. When you are absent from one another, the vows of this ring will remind you to be faithful to fulfill your vows to him. Mark. Go ahead and take, I think it's already on there, but go ahead and say, <laughs> with this ring, I pledge myself to you. With this ring, I pledge myself to you. <clears throat> Mark, this ring is a seal of Corinne's vow to you. This ring is made of precious metal. She too is precious and a gift from God. Treat her as the precious gift that she is. Let this symbol be a reminder of her value to you and to the Lord. Crane, go ahead and place it on his finger. Say, with this ring, I pledge myself to you. <laughs> It'll get on there. Should never come off, right? <laughs> All right, take, take, a deep, take a deep breath. You did it. You're technically officially married. <laughs> you can't kiss you up. You can't kiss you up. As their first act of marriage, they wanted to be able to take communion together. For as much as Corinne and Mark and Corinne have consented in wed, holy wedlock and have confirmed this commitment, the giving and receiving of a ring by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel in accordance with the ordinance of God and the laws of the state of California, I now declare, declare you husband and wife. Mark. Thank you.
Hey, make sure you subscribe. <laughs>